Hey everyone, welcome back to Dear Cyber Sue. Today we're going to talk about, do you take your partner for granted? Are you in a relationship that you've been in for more than a couple of years and now you're becoming complacent because you think, oh, it's here to stay, nothing's going to change it, yeah, we love each other, it's all good. And you're forgetting to nurture your partnership. This is a very, very common scenario that breaks up a lot of relationships because people get too lazy. They forget how to keep the love alive. It's so, so important to always look at your partner and try to make things really good between the two of you. Things change within our lives. It's not the same as when we first meet each other. We need to take time and put effort and energy into who we are as a couple. Because when one person pulls back, that's not a good place because the other person picks up on it and feels very uncomfortable that their their relationship is changing in the way that their, their partner doesn't care about them anymore. Because that's what it feels like. It feels like when somebody just starts changing and not putting in effort anymore and not doing the little things and, and making their own life more important than, than you know you as a couple, that's when everything starts to ricochet in the opposite direction. Because the little things will keep your love flourishing. It will keep it alive. Do you really want to go back out there and start all this crap all over again with somebody else? I mean, think about it. It's not, it's not something that you need to keep doing if you can find out a way to keep your relationship alive. And it's not that hard. It's a couple of little things here and there that you have to do. But if you take your relationship for granted and assume they're always going to be there, chances are you're going to be bombarded with a really big wake up call one day. So all I can stress to you is take a few minutes every day to appreciate your partner, to tell them how much they mean to you. Do not get yourself into a complacent zone of unappreciation and, you know, just assuming that everything's okay. Because a lot of people don't talk about it. They just move in another direction. So don't wait too long to save your relationship. If you're putting so much time into all your own things and being too busy for your partner, it really is only a matter of time until they make another home for themselves somewhere else. I know it sounds like, oh yeah, well, you, you know, you're committed to each other, but sometimes people don't tell you everything they're thinking. They're feeling it, but they're not telling you that they're hurt and that they feel like a last priority on your huge to-do list. It's not fair. You committed, you said your vows or whatever, even if, if you're not married, you, you told each other how you felt in the beginning. And these are things that you have to keep working at because taking someone for granted is not a nice place to put somebody. You wouldn't want it happening to you. So don't ever be too busy for your partner. Don't make yourself number one without putting their feelings into account and always, always nurture your partnership. Because if you do that, you'll have a great relationship for years to come. And you won't have to go back out into that huge swimming pool of dating scenarios that are happening that everybody's complaining about. So nurture what you have because it's special and it's worth it. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Keep your questions coming. I like to do shows on your questions, so send some more in to me or leave some comments below the video and please subscribe to Dear Cyber Sue. Thanks. Bye.